Asia, and I'm going to be talking about the Pythagoras theorem in real life. The history of Pythagoras theorem revolves around a man called Pythagoras of Samos. Pythagoras of Samos is a Greek philosopher in the 570 BC who found the Pythagoras theory. The theorem is a fundamental relation which states that the square of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. The mathematical statement is written as a squared plus b squared equals to c squared, in which c is the hypotenuse. There are several uses of Pythagoras' theorem. The most common use is of course to find the length of a side of a triangle when two sides are known. The second one is it can be used in construction or architecture. The third one, a plane can use Pythagoras to find out how far away it is from the runway if it knows, if it knows its altitude and the distance from it to the runway with the razor. So I'm gonna show you a sample. This shows that a laser is pointing to the top of the building from quite a distance, 96 meters away. And we wanna find out how tall the building is. So in this, in this diagram, A is shown as, as the height of the building, B is the distance of, of U to the base of the building, and C is, is, the diff, is the distance of U to the top of the building. And this is the answer. We can find the height of the building using the distance of the laser to the base and the distance of the laser to the top of the building simply by making A squared plus 96 squared, which is B e squared, equals to 100 squared, which is C squared. So A is 28 meters after calculating it. This is a second example. This shows the stairs, which shows the horizontal, which is the B, the vertical, the A, and the length as the hypotenuse. So it can be used to find length, the length of the stairs, to find the length of the waist slab length, to and to find the length of the railing for the stairs. And this shows another example of a plane. The plane is about to land. It is in an altitude of nine kilometers from the ground and it is 12 kilometers away. How far does the plane need to travel before it touches the ground? By using Pythagoras, you can find out but while 9 kilometers is the A, 12 kilometers is the B, and C is the hypotenuse, which is how far the plane needs to travel before it touches the ground. By using the formula A squared plus B squared equals to C squared, you can, you can exchange A with 9, B with 12, and you'll end up with the answer 15 kilometers. Another example, and the final one, it, this is about the kite. We wanna know the perimeter of the outer kite. When BD is 30 cm, AO is 20 cm, OC is 36 cm. So first we can find OD, which is 15, half of BD. And then using the, the theory, we can find AD and BA, as well as using OD and OC, we can find BC and BC, which is 39. By combining it, we can get the perimeter, which is 128 cm. Those are some examples and explanations that I can discuss here. Thank you very much and please give us your support and give us a like. As I repeat, my name is Frederick Gunn. 
from Vina Tunas Bangsa School in grade 8. I end my presentation here. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. See you next time. Bye-bye.